Uh, hello YouTube and fellow Radio Hams. Uh, this in this video is just a quick one take, no edit uh, video just to show you the latest All Star project I've uh, just finished. And this so this video will be mostly interest to anybody into All Star. Uh, this is a repeater in a 2U rack case that was donated to me. It was originally a receiver for use on the air band. Came out of an airport made by Park Air Electronics. But I've got a few of these cases and they're very nice cases full of lots of goodies and uh, make for a very nice project box for new projects. And just having a quick look around the inside of this box. So this is a repeater, an all-star repeater. And it's just kind of been sort of put together as I went along, so it's not the tidiest of finish, and I'm sure if I started over, I could do a much better job of it, but it is uh, working very well. So let's have a look at the heart of the repeater. Is the Raspberry Pi 2 here. Um, with the CM108 uh, sound card. Uh, since it's in a metal box, we've got a, a USB uh, Wi Fi here that passes out to a small antenna on the back. Uh, we're using some of the GPIO pins, we'll go into those a bit in a minute. We've got a couple of power supplies, some buck converters here, one for the DC power supply 5 volts for the Raspberry Pi, and another power supply here for the uh, transmitter. The transmitter is held in this metal can here. It's actually a Baofeng 888. Um, and just to try and get around some of the frequency drift that you get with the temperature changes, I've actually soldered a brass pillar to the back of the radio, although that's screwed down with some um, aluminium blocks underneath so some of the heat gets transferred out the bottom and some of the heat gets transferred out the top and that keeps it fairly stable as the radio warms up. It's putting out about a watt and a half. It's in a nice can. We've got some uh, pass-through. These are 10 nanofarad uh, feed-through capacitors and there's a slightly bigger one here for the DC supply. Um, the output on a BNC here into the uh, low side of this duplex filter which I tuned up as well. I got this from a radio rally. Cost me just uh, five pounds. The receiver, now this is the key part of a repeater, is the receiver is, a, is an old Tate TM, sorry, T2010. Um, I tried using the bow as the receivers but they're absolutely useless when you connect them to an external antenna. So decent receiver is the way forward here. Uh, coming out the back of the receiver, we've got our receive audio and our carrier sense, uh, which is uh, on the busy, uh, sorry, the uh, squelch defeat line off the logic board on here. And that's being fed into via a little um, attenuator network here to get the audio into the um, CM108. The transmit audio is fed around here. Uh, through uh, this wire here and this is the PTT line and the inside here that's driven by a transistor so a small voltage a positive cone voltage here switches a transistor in here which pulls the PTT in um, we've got on the, so moving over to the front panel we've got um, a speaker uh, I've tried to use as much as the original parts of this case as possible the front panel is is the biggest part we've got a speaker in here and I think most guys up here have to about so this allows us a local monitor I've been able to use all the switches on the front here we've got a power switch so this is this interrupts the DC supply coming into the box uh, so this is our master on and off a couple of LEDs here this is the RX and the TX LED um, this would have been the receive antenna, or well, now it's the combined uh, output from the duplexer. Got some status LEDs here 
if I uh, just uh, power it off and power it back on again, you'll see how these work. This is quite neat, and I'm quite pleased with this. Um, we've got a uh, status LED here, which is showing me I've got my 3.7 volts supply. Uh, this top LED is the heartbeat LED from the Raspberry Pi, so it's showing me uh, disk activity at the moment, but after it's booted, it will switch to the heartbeat. So we'll get that... Uh, pulse in and obviously when, when the CPU is under load it will pulse faster. Got a couple of other lights here. I need to, I'm need. just going to make a sticker up for this, I just haven't done it yet. Um, th these are a couple of scripts that run in the background on the Raspberry Pi so we won't see these till it's fully booted. But uh, this one is the net check uh, script and what this does is it pings the, uh, the hub, the all-star hub um, and when it, once it gets a reply it will turn this LED on. If it doesn't get a reply to a ping, no light. And uh, obviously, if I was dis disconnect for this from the network, you'll see this light go off after si it pings every 60 seconds. This light tells me that I'm connected to the All Star Hub, and that ch also checks every 60 seconds as well uh, that I'm connected to the given hub. Um, we've got another switch over here. This basically allows me to turn off the transmitter. So the TX actually interrupts the control line to the transmitter so I can turn it on and off. I can still, of course, listen locally uh, through the speaker here. Uh, and finally, we've just got our 12 volts uh, indicator lamp here, which tells me the supply is on. Um, the filters are fairly standard um, pair of notches tuned to the transmit and the receive frequencies. Uh, and I think that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope this video gives you a little bit of inspiration if you are looking at building an all-star node, or all-star repeater even, um, to give you some ideas of what you could do. Thanks for watching.